Today's adventure brings me to East Orlando to the very first day, the grand opening. As a recording of this, it is Wednesday, January 18th, 2023. Jolly B, or is it Jolly B? I think it's Jolly B. Finally has a Central Florida location open for business. This will be my third time eating at a Jolly Bee. The other times were in the Southern California. It is a Filipino chicken chain that has a lot more than just chicken. Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. Tim Tracker is here as well. I am really towering over the top of you, Look Tim. Look how small I am. Here, you get up there. You hold this. Wow. Ooh, we're like the same height now. Look at how small I am. Look at us. You're had... only one inch taller than me. I don't understand. When I'm on the curb, I'm like well, no, seven but... inches taller than you. Yeah. It's because I hold the camera way up. Oh, that looks, that's awkward. Yeah. Like up to my shoulder here. You ever been Wait. to Jollibee before? Never been to Jollibee. You didn't know anything about it and I told Jollibee. you. You want to go to Jollibee? And you yeah. go, what the heck is that? I know. I have no idea what it is. It is a... Filipino chicken restaurant. Started in the Philippines. Oh, you've looked, you've, you've researched it. Right, started you've, in the Philippines. First American location came when? Was it in Southern California? It was in California. I don't know if it was in Southern California. It was in uh, it was Chicago, California. San Francisco. I don't know. I don't know. I, just, I don't okay. know what the town was. I'm just asking what year. I don't know. Oh, it was uh, 1997. Ooh, five. 1995. Okay. That was very close. Yeah. Could you imagine, imagine yourself in 1995. Yes. Who would you see going into a Jollibee in California? I saw a Green Day concert at night. You were seeing Green Day, yes. Billy they, Joe, inside of a Jollibee. Then they had the bookmobile outside? What? Remember the bookmobile? That was From what they drove. No, they drove the bookmobile around. Green Day did? Yeah, that was their tour van. I did not know that. This is going off the, yeah, they had the bookmobile. Look it up. Why was it called the bookmobile? Because it was an old, it was an old library vehicle. Uh, they had the, called the bookmobile. Okay. I think, I don't really know 100% uh, I'm making that up. So I'm happy that the mascot is out over here. Yeah. Because they have a mascot that's a bee. He's a jolly bee. It's a jolly bee. So we were told that we would not be able to go inside. We have to go through the drive-thru, which you can go through the drive-thru, but there's also a queue line Ooh. back there has been getting set up. A queue line back there, so we should what probably go get in the do? line. Do you want to get in line or do you want to go through? There's like no line for the drive through. Let's just kind of meander the around, put out the vibe, say hello to the the mascot over there. The bee. Go inside. Well, we should probably get, I don't know, whatever you want to do. There's also we'll go a, inside. We can look around at the menu and stuff. Okay. That'll be nice. Because we're not supposed to eat inside. It's supposedly not open, but I believe this guy's trying to back out. He's doing good. All right. I'm inviting you to join me and Tim Tracker. His first time at Jollibee, my third time. Also, there are a handful of new items that this company, this Jollibee, has never had before. Ooh. Specifically for the Orlando opening. Like what? We'll find out oh, when we get inside? there is a delicious mac and cheese. Oh, how do you know it's delicious if they've never had it before? Hmm? <laughs> All right. We're going in, Tim. All right. Join me. You're I'm leaving. I'm going this way. <laughs> I didn't realize they have pies. Oh, you know what? I forgot that one of their signature items is a peach pie. Peach pie? Yeah, they have a peach pie, so we gotta get the peach pie. It's all, remember like a McDonald's would have the pies? Oh, yeah. like it's like a donut. McDonald's pie. Look at all these people over here taking photos. I'm excited about this. I really like this place. I really like the chicken the best. I'm not really a big fan of their sweet spaghetti. I think Tim said he might get the sweet spaghetti. I am going to get the chicken joy. This also, this was also voted the best chain fried chicken in America by something called Eater. Once you get it, you'll get it. You can get a, a tub of it for $15.99 over there. And there is, yeah, quite a little bit of a line starting to formulate. And then obviously the mascot as well that is here, which is a bee. It's a jolly bee or a jolly bee. Call it a Jolly Bee. We are trying to decide what we want to do. Do we want to wait in the line over here? Or do we want to do the drive-through? The drive-through line is pretty lengthy. It kind of goes all the way back over into the shopping center, over to that area. In fact, there are two. From what I was reading online, this is the first Jolly Bee that has two drive-throughs, one on either side. It's a historic Jolly Bee with only with two drive-through lines, not just one. 
You're getting the self Tim's getting the selfie there. Check this out though. They're also promoting it as the Orlando Alafea. Yeah. Not just Orlando, but Alafea yeah. Orlando. Right there. I should. I feel like I should do that too. I feel like I'm not. Probably get some food. Doing you this. should probably do. There you go. Am I doing the selfie right? Yeah, that's good. That's good, right? Orlando Alafea represent. Okay, this line of cars goes a lot farther back than we thought it was going to, so it goes that way, and then it wraps around and goes all the way that way. One thing I've learned about Orlando when they open up new eateries, people turn out in droves. Look at this, all the way down there. Yeah, it's like going out to the road over there. Maybe it would make more sense just to go in and get takeout inside. I think you're right. I think you're right. Plus, we get to go inside and see what it looks yeah. like inside. Maybe there's just one person in line for Taco Bell. Yeah. We, you know what? We could just get Taco Bell. We'll do it. We'll pretend. I am really happy. Where are you going? Oh, I didn't know you were saying. I'm really happy that the, they have the mascot out here because I went on Street View and saw the construction on Street View, and I was like, the mascot's not there, the Jolly Bee is not out there, but the Jolly Bee is here now. What if, what if we wait in line? If we had gone in the drive-through, yes. this might not happen. It still might not happen, but what if there's a person that comes out dressed as the Jolly Bee? Oh. And does a little, like, presentation out here. Hands out free coupons for uh, that would be. Let's give it a try. Maybe. I don't think it's going to happen, but... Yeah, but you can... Back in the control. day, when Wendy's first started, when I was young, went to Wendy's, and they used to have a Wendy's mascot there. A girl yeah. dressed as Wendy's. Yeah. And Dave Thomas would come around and he give would, everybody a pat on the shoulder. I never met... You know, Dave Thomas worked for a guy who created chicken. Roy Kroc. No! That was, uh... That was the guy that created McDonald's... Or one of the guys who created... Who stole McDonald's. Yeah. But the guy who created chicken was KFC. The Colonel. The Colonel. Dave Thomas got his job from the Colonel. Okay. He had a franchise of... KFCs? Think, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, and then he started Wendy's. Oh. That's how he got his business sense and business savvy. Do you think that the guy that started KFC, the Colonel, was angry with him after that? No, they were friends. That's some delicious trick Trisky crackers. Maybe if you had told me I had delicious trick crackers, I could have enjoyed it with you, Carl. Do you know why they're called Triscuits? No. Because they are cooked. Triscuits? What is your what is your theory on Why Triscuit? it's called a Triscuit? Why it's called a Triscuit. I don't know. I was thinking a tisket, a tasket, an old maid's basket. No. No. <laughs> it's, it's because they're cooked with electricity. Really? Triscuit. It's a electric. Oh, electric. Wow, Tim. Biscuit. We're learning a lot today. Yeah. We still haven't got any food yet, though. I know, we didn't even get in line. All right, we're, we're getting, getting in line. here for 10 minutes. Look, he's waving over here. It's almost like he's waving everyone out. It's like he's saying, get out of here. The line starts here. Got all the stanchions set up through here. That's probably maybe 50, 75 people in front of us, perhaps. Precisely one o'clock. One o'clock? Oh, you're timing it. So it's one o'clock right now. Okay, that is the that is the the county. Shape of the city or the county? I don't know. I don't know. No, it's got to be the city. Because Alafaya is not a county. Look at the menu here. They have fried chicken. They have jolly spaghetti. They have something called a Palabok Fiesta. That's what Jen wanted you to get. She wanted me to get the Palabok Fiesta? Yeah, it's got like shrimp and stuff on it. I should get that. Yeah. I'll get that for Jen. Does she want does she want it to go or she wants me to eat she it? She wants you to eat it. Oh, I'll okay. get one to go too. All right. Burger steaks, sides. So we, I'm going to get some, let's see, family bucket meals, Jolly Spaghetti. Let's click on this. Jolly Spaghetti and a Palabok Fiesta. So this is the Palabok Fiesta. That's the family pack. What is a Palabok Fiesta? Oh, right here. I've never had this at my at the other the other spots. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get the Palabok Fiesta. It was on it was on my screen. Okay, it's a traditional Filipino noodle dish covered with garlic sauce, pork, shrimp. Note: Palabok sauce contains shrimp and pork that cannot be removed. You have to get the shrimp and the sauce. Oh yeah. There are also some rules over here to ensure quick ordering guidelines. Only take home order, so you cannot dine in. Each customer line will be issued a number. Only one order allowed. Seventy dollar maximum limit. If avoid losing your spot, and allowed maximum product quantities per order: twelve pieces and two six piece buckets, and ten peach mango pies. So if you can't, we can't order more than ten peach mango pies. Oh, the macaroni. That's what it says right there. I order ten macaronis. Do they have? Oh, I want the mac and cheese. Oh, here it is right here. Baked the baked. Cheddar. That's it. 
We both saw it at the same time. An adobo rice. Okay, I'm gonna get the baked cheddar, Ooh. and I'm gonna get the peach mango pie, and I'm gonna get, what was it that Jen wanted me to get? Not the jolly spaghetti, it was called something else. Was it not in here? Now when you step inside, I can definitely see why they do not allow indoor dining at this time because they have it kind of all queued up and everyone's really working pretty hard back in there to get everybody their orders with a long line. We waited about an hour in the line outside before coming into the front internal area to wait for our food. And if you go up towards the counter, you can see everybody out there working, uh, getting all the orders produced and getting ready to deliver all the orders and all that. But then when you also, once you get it, you'll get it. Best chain fried, it's kind of a tongue twister. Yeah. Best chain fried chicken in America. Best chicken fried chain, ch best chain fried chicken in America by Eater. Is that a new cooking technique, is chain frying? I'm, no, I think it's a chain because it's a fried chicken chain. Oh, okay. And did you see all, inside they had all the, the little animated Jolie Bees all around the country, all the places they had opened around the U.S. and the world. Yeah. Only a couple in the U.S. I think Anna, I think California, New York, and here. In 2021, they announced that they're going to uh, open 500 plus new restaurants. That's a lot of in restaurants. The United States. 500 in the U.S. Yeah. You got your food 509. here. 509. 509. Not a lot. I'm not gonna go to all of them, but I'll probably go to a couple. Yeah, just two. Yeah. So far, you've been to three. This, I've been, to, I've been to two. I went to the one in Anaheim twice. Oh, okay. So, uh, so far, year, you've been to two. A year span. I've you've had got three meals. One. I've had three meals. Oh. Okay. Oh, one location. I've got three meals in here just for me right now. How much did you spend on all yours? Forty-four dollars. I spent thirty-six because I got. I get. You gotta try a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I knew I was gonna be thirsty, so I got two of these. We are now pulling away. From the Jolly Bee. Oh, got the drinks in my lap. So there's the Jolly Bee grand opening. We're gonna head over to a park that is a mile away that has picnic tables, hopefully. We have found a park over here that we're gonna eat our food at. We're gonna slide down the slide. We are. Swing on some swings. Eat a meal. Food. Eat a delicious meal. Eat a lot of meals. I didn't bring it. I didn't get a straw, so I'm about to go strawless. I got a straw. They put it in my bag. Okay, it might be in the bag. Okay, we'll have to like do an unboxing of all this stuff. Oh, yeah. I did a whole food series in late 2020, early 21. Probably just late 20, where I went and got takeout and went to a park and ate for like 50 days in a row. Oh. So this kind of reminds me of that, those times. 50? I think I did 50. I might have done 40. It was at least four, yeah. I did a lot. I gained a lot of weight. Oh no, there's a, just a gravy in here. I don't know what the gravy goes to. Just one red. Oh yeah, because they want you to put gravy on everything. Do they? Yeah. They give you extra gravy. I didn't get an extra gravy. Oh, sorry. Oh wait. No, that's my mac and cheese. And I got the peach. You got two peach pies. I got two peach pies. And you got the chicken sandwich. I got a spicy chicken sandwich. I'm not really one for a spicy chicken sandwich, but I got it anyways. You like Just spicy like stuff, though. No, I used to. I can't do it anymore. You can't do spicy anymore? Yeah. Should we sit on the same side or is this going to tip over? We'll tip over. This one is the oh, chicken joy. my chicken joy. Ooh, yeah, with a biscuit. Spicy or regular? Just regular. They didn't have spicy at this location. Just the chicken sandwich. Okay. They didn't have spicy chicken joy. And they didn't have the thing Jen, Jen recommended either yeah. because she wanted the... Oh, oh, this is my burger that's steak. That's your Salisbury steak? Yeah, I can't get it open. There it is. You got the mushrooms on there. Burger steak. What'd you get? I got chicken joy also. So you couldn't get spicy. Gotta get to regular. What's in the bag? I got a bag too. What's in the bag? What's in the, oh, those are my french fries. I got french fries too. I got these specifically because it has the mascot on the front of them. I didn't really want fries, but look how good these look. Jolly crispy fries. Jolly what fries. these fries are the best fries you've ever had? They're not gonna be, but their slogan, we were told on the way out, is have a jolly day. Oh well, yeah, we forgot to tell them that on the way out. Do you think that's really their slogan or someone? It was just a guy saying that. I think it makes sense though. Well, by the way, we waited an hour, like from getting in line to getting out of line. You got a side of the spaghetti. Got a side of the spaghetti, but I do have to have one complaint or issue. Yes. Online, it read that there were three different kinds of meat in it. And then when I talked to the lady in there, she said it's just hot dogs now. Oh. So just hot dogs in the sweet, it's a sweet spaghetti sauce. Oh yeah, it's very sweet. I've had it before. Okay. It's going to be like no other spaghetti you've ever had. Okay. I'm having okay. trouble opening this time. Oh no, you need to oh, oh. loosen the bag. You, floating you, bags are beautiful. beautiful thing I've ever Flo <laughs> Floating bags are beautiful. 
Floating bags are beautiful, Tim. This is like a smorgasbord. Not Where a do you think that word came from? My dad always said that. He, he still uses it to this day. It's a smorgasbord. It's a smorgasbord. That does look spicy. I think, it, I think it has to do with Sweden. I think it does. Yeah. So, just to clarify, there is no spicy chicken at Jolie B right now, temporarily. And then some of the menu items that you can get at other places, they do not have until they are kind of ready and acclimated to the area and got, you know, everybody trained properly and the grand opening crowds have dissipated just a little bit. However, operation. quite operate. This right here is new. Oh, okay. They've never had mac and cheese before, or at least this kind of mac and cheese, so. I didn't exciting. see it online. A baked mac and cheese. You think they have a hidden menu, kind of like In-N-Out has, like a secret menu? Oh, like you would order like a double-double? A yeah. Monster style with cheese? Yeah. You know In-N-Out's coming to Tennessee? In-N-Out is going to, is franchising on the East Coast now. Okay. Soon. Very soon. When do you think it'll be here? I don't know. Well, if it's going to Tennessee, it's, a, it's on its way here. Kind of like how Wawa's taken over. Okay. I think that In-N-Out's going to come to Florida. You, you heard it here first. This Mark this down. Mark it down. Kind of shaded underneath here. Yeah. We opted for the shade, less light, less sunburn. Less. Is I can't more. even see me. Maybe that's better. I'll just do that. Yeah. Where's my two dollars? Where is my two dollars? Trying to lower the ex lower the exposure. I'm trying to lower the exposure. That's a deep cut. That's an old Tim Tracker throwback quote. Yeah, you gotta lower the exposure. That was at Universal. Yeah. Long time ago. Very long time ago. I'm gonna switch sides. Oh yeah, this is way better for me. This is way better lighting over here. Like twice as bright. We'll shine half as long. That's what they say about people. Okay. I believe that they do say that. Start off with the chicken joy. This is gonna be interesting because we're just gonna be talking about the same thing over top of each other. Come on. It'll be good. Alright. I'm also gonna dive right in. We're doing the same things? I'm doing, I'm doing the chicken joy as well. I'm gonna start with the drumstick. This is a fried chicken, Filipino fried chicken. This chicken's good. This is some of the juiciest chicken I've ever had. The chicken is my favorite thing on the menu. You hear that crunch? It's all about the skin and the mm. crunch. Not very salty. What flavors are you getting out of this? I'm trying to think of what other chicken place I could compare this to. It reminds me of a not as seasoned Popeyes or KFC. You know, I'm getting a lot of flour flavor. Like I'm getting the breading is very like it's flour. You know, the breading's flour. What's the chicken place at Disneyland on Main Street? Plaza Inn? Kind of has a Plaza Inn vibe to it. Okay. I don't think it's as good as Plaza Inn, but it tastes like kind of Plaza Inn-ish. Mm. I think I might have opened the floodgates with people's opinion by comparing this to Plaza Inn. Maybe. You never know. It's pretty greasy. On the inside, though, the outside's not really greasy. Because you know what they say. A roll is a roll, and a toll is a toll. And we can't get no rolls if we don't have no tolls. You just made that up. No, the Robin Hood Men and Tights. Oh. Look at this. It's a biscuit. It's just a biscuit. I'm gonna try, let's try to tear it apart here. Oh, it's very like fluffy. It's I think the cakey. biscuits might be new too. I don't remember if they had biscuits in Anaheim. Anaheim is a biscuit-free community. Hmm. Very buttery. It is very flaky or fluffy. Yeah. That's like a pillow. Yeah. You know how sometimes if you get like a Popeye's chicken roll, it's very that's dry. really good. Got to put the butter or the honey on it. That's it a really good biscuit. Is that a biscuit or a roll? It's a biscuit. I think it could use a little bit mm. more time in the There's oven. There's your gravy. You want to dip it in my gravy? Is that what you're suggesting? Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna dip it in my sauce from my little meatloaf over here, whatever this is. It's called a uh, burger steak. 
I'm sorry, you spent so much time getting yourself in, getting both of us in this shot, and I just have me in my shot. Of course. Okay, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? I don't want to be in your video anyway. Okay. That is a heavy mushroom flavor. Wow. That's just like straight mushrooms. Is that what you're getting too? Yeah. I don't know that I like that. It is mushroomy. It's very mushroomy. Well, spoiler alert. The hamburger has mushrooms all over it. This is a this is a thigh, a chicken thigh. Look at that. I gotta take a picture of myself with this. Is this a mukbang? Are we doing a mukbang? There's gonna be some edits in it. Aren't mukbangs unedited? I don't know. Oh, I got a greasy fingerprint on my camera. Whenever you're in the camera, it's always a lot brighter. It's because I, I shine. Like a diamond? I shine bright. What's your favorite chicken, fast food chicken? Popeye. Because it's spicy. I don't always get spicy. Do you love <clears throat> Do you love that chicken from Popeye's? Yeah. yeah this chicken is pretty great. All right, I'm, I'm, I gotta to drink this. Yeah, do it. This is the specialty drink. You have a straw right there. Oh, I do. What was it called? Key lime? Key lime. Lemonade. Pineapple. Pineapple. I think I have the menu in my pocket. It's a pineapple drink. It is called... I guess so you're supposed to have lumpias here, too. This is called a pineapple quencher. Oh my gosh, that's let's good. See, let's see if it I quenches my I forgot how first. good that was. You're going to love it. Well, that's very good. That's really tasty. Very heavy on the pineapple. Oh, Not man. as tart as a pineapple. I'm glad I got two. What's the other flavor in there? There isn't one. Soda. There is. No. Coconut. A little bit of coconut in there. Oh, in here? Yeah. I don't like coconut. Oh, well, you're drinking it right now. It must be really a, a small dose of it. Some pineapple and some coconut. Man, that is good. Possibly some passion fruit in there, too. I'm just tearing it apart. I don't really know. They're just naming fruits. <sighs> that is like one of the best things ever. Maybe there's a grape in there. If they sold this at Disney, there'd be a line a mile long. They kind of do. It's called Dole Whip, right? There's Can't they do or like, a dole, like a dole whip float? But just the drink? Pineapple, what is that called? A pineapple float? float? Is it a dole whip float? You can get the ice cream and then you can get just the juice. But it's just yeah. pineapple juice. Yeah, that's. This has like a different flavor to it. Got coconut in Bring yourself coconut water in. Should I go over to the coconut side? Yeah, you should join the coconut side. I wish I had information on a Salisbury steak. Do you know that? Gene Salisbury was the original. Gene Salisbury? It's not a place? He started the steak. I thought Salisbury would have been like Salisbury, New York, you know? <clears throat> this is, are you okay? I think you might be right. It might be a real place. What if it was Gene Simmons that started it? And that's what she would serve to the people coming through yeah. the drive through It started, not started as a, a boysenberry stand and then a chicken place. Yeah, this is good. This, this. You mean hanging Salisbury out with me? Salisbury steak. What? Hanging out with me? Yeah. It is good. I like a cool breeze on our necks. Some food in our bellies. This is cold. Yeah, I said that. We waited too long to eat it. We didn't really wait that long. It's been 28 minutes since we got out of the restaurant. That's kind of a long time, I guess. I mean, there's two small patties. We had to think open. There's that's a whole a, day. That's just a Salisbury steak in yeah. every, every way. Yeah, it's like a Swanson's family dinner. But it's good. How many different companies and other organizations are we going to mention in this video? At least 16. I wouldn't call this spectacular, though. Well, no. This is something you can get in a frozen food cooler. Yeah, where would you place... At a grocery store. Jollibee, as far as, like... Like, you know how, like, Checkers and Rally's mm -hmm. bottom, right? I actually like Checkers. Champ Burger? Yeah, but, like, still, it's below a Burger King, right? Oh, yeah. You haven't you had think your that do you spaghetti think that, no, yeah, I haven't had the spaghetti. I'm gonna try that next. Do you think that um, checkers is another another third? Do you think checkers rallies is above White Castle? I like White Castle. Yeah, but they're like throwaway burgers, right? So, yeah. is, what's the other one that's down here? Crystals. Crystals. Oh, I'm getting the burps. All right, spaghetti. 
You know it's good because Ooh. I can hold it sideways. Oh, I fell out on the table. Oh my! <laughs> Just pay no attention. I have to eat it still, right? <laughs> so it did fall out. On the table. I was saying you know it's good because you can hold it sideways, but you can't hold it sideways. So I have to eat it though. This is this is a dirty table. Three seconds, five seconds. I think it was on the table for like two seconds. Yeah, now it's back in the container. Germs don't move that fast, right? They do. <laughs> no, they don't. They do. All right, let's try this spaghetti. I gotta get a hot dog. This you try a, it. I'm not eating it. A hot dog in there. This is a sweet spaghetti with hot dogs. I'm excited to see what you think. That tastes like somebody ran out of spaghetti sauce and used ketchup. Or like, you know when you get baked beans? Yeah. Ketchup-based baked beans? That's, you almost lost your macaroni. Ketchup-based baked beans, they decided to put those without the beans, like just the sauce over top of spaghetti. So replace the beans in the baked beans, like beanie weenies. You guys know about beanie weenies, right? Mm -hmm. Replace the beans with spaghetti. Right it's off. different and weird, right? Yeah. There's something else in there though. Some sort of fruit flavor. The sweetness it's is very not, sweet. Yeah, it's not from a uh, the ketchup. Yeah, it's not from just plain sugar. There's some sort of fruity, fruity aspect to it. Mm. See, I could pull mine to the side too. Mine does not fall out. See, mine does not. Mine's stuck in there. Look at this. Waiting for it. To, oh, <laughs> I knew it. It's like a hockey puck. Oh my goodness! I could eat it like this. You could. It's like a sandwich. I got to show this. Look at this thing. This is the new Jollibee mac and cheese. What is? Is there hot dogs in that too? There should be. Mmm. You could put that. You should, did. You have your. Do you have your bun? Your. Well, I've already finished it. <sighs> could have put it right. Put it between two peach peach pies. I've never had a mac and cheese hockey puck before. They should market it though. So like this yeah, way. Yeah. Put it. They should. That should be the the secret menu item. You put it in between the 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 roll. Mm. What's that called? Not a roll. It's called a biscuit. A biscuit. I've already eaten it. Mm. That's a hack, though. That's I a whole other one video. Bite left you still got a chicken sandwich left yeah. over there. This is really good. This the the. I've never eaten mac and cheese with my hands before. Never. Uh -huh. Not even as a small child. Mm-hmm. Mm. Twice. Twice. This I. This is pretty okay. But the thing that is bothersome is like, there are some some spots in the spaghetti that don't have any sauce on them. So you're just like eating just spaghetti noodles. Mm. Are you okay? Oh, it fell apart. This is really good. I'm eating it like an animal. I'm kind of into this spaghetti now. It's different. Mm -hmm. The only reason I didn't get it is I've had it a few times before. It takes a couple of spot. bites to get used to. I also have my, my background like super whited out because I want it to be focused on me. I'm the star. It's me. Hmm. Yours does look good. The 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 spaghetti? No, the camera. Oh, the camera look. Thank you. I built it myself. Oh, oh! I just walked into your. Watch out for my spaghetti. Leftovers there. I got a lot of rice here. I don't need. It's just plain white rice. Yeah. I Why got, did I get this? I don't know. I got special rice. Okay. I got a, you got yeah something in your beard there. I got mashed potatoes and gravy too. In your beard? Yes. Soon. Mmm. Okay. That is a different spice than I was expecting. It's not overly spicy. It's good though? It's good. I can't quite place it. I have had this spice before. Where have I had this spice before? Popeyes. No. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what this tastes like. Chicken. Hmm. I always have stuff in my beer. Oh. I don't use napkins. You don't use napkin? No. Bad for the environment. <laughs> it's like grown on me. Like when I take the first bite, I'm like, mm. yeah. But then after like a few bites, I'm like, okay. Okay, these are these are your fries. It doesn't. Matter. These are my fries. I've been eating those. See, now I switch sides, and now the lighting's way better. Mm. The farther I get away from you, the lighting gets better for me. Yeah. 
Oh boy. So they shine bright. Ooh, That's I because, know. yeah, you're over there, you're shining the light over here. Yeah. Got the jalapeno See, going though. Dark there. You know where it would be best is if that black building or that brown building is behind us. Would it? Is it down yeah. top of it? Yeah, no, it's, it's, the, it's the white bag. Okay, these fries are good. What? I like these fries. Because those were still inside the bag. Have one of these. Try a warm one. Yeah, see? This is warm. This is just as cold as the other one. Gotcha. Ah, classic long dog joke. Oh, that got me. That's spicy. Yeah, there was a whole jalapeno right there. Ooh. Jolly crispy fries. I'm going to take the rest of that jalapeno off. Do it all right? Off. Yeah, yeah, it's just hit me. All right. I hit where the sauce is on the inside of the chicken sandwich. All right. I can't handle a, my spicy. I should have got, got a spicy chicken sandwich. Should have. Mashed potatoes and gravy are pretty basic. They're just your standard mashed potatoes and gravy. Tastes like KFC. KFC? If, you if I did a taste test between KFC, mashed potatoes, and gravy, and this, I wouldn't tell you the difference. Start to sweat. You're sweating? A little bit, yeah. Mm. Getting a little sweaty. I gotta get something else. You got, a, you got the juice drink right there, the pineapple drink. That's yours. Well, that's mine. I got two. Yeah, I got this one over here. Yeah, I got another one. They told me to get these adobo, this adobo rice. Right? So yeah. So I'm not gonna make the same mistake as I made before, I'm going to hold it down here and show it off. Man, that's good. I wonder if my microphone could pick up the joyous goodness of this drink. It's definitely picking up that red tail hawk. Hot? Yeah. You want a bite? Oh, you could eat off the backside where I didn't bite into How it. much is left? Just like a couple of bites. Can you drop it on the table first? Yeah, sure. I'm just going to try a piece of the meat. I think the gravy's I'm just gonna go with a piece of the meat. You gotta get the sauce on there though. Oh. The sauce in the bottom bun. Are you getting some? Maybe. It's pretty good. Like I said, I'm not a fan of rice. It's got a little kick to it. I can yeah. taste it. You don't like rice? No. That's good. You a fan? I like it. Fan of the spicy chicken? Are you catching the flavor that I'm talking about? The spice is I think like... I'm not getting the the jalapeno part that you grabbed. Yeah, but you catching that it's like it's not a normal flavored chicken sandwich. Mm -mm. I like it though, I'd get that. Yeah. I like adobo the chicken rice flavor. Is pretty good. What's it called? Adobo rice. Adobo? Yeah. Just stuff all over my pants here. It's okay, you drop us up on the table. Yeah. You're making a full out mess over here. I'm very thankful that I bought two of these and not just oh, the one. Man. This is really good. Did you like it? That was the best thing that I've had so far. We still got these though. Yeah, that's true. This uh rice is pretty okay. Pretty alright? Yeah, for like a side. They really got you with the add-ons. Yeah, they did. I think the spaghetti is the most drastically different thing on the food item. Yeah. Like if you had the spaghetti, there's no other place that I can think of at a fast food place that has spaghetti like that. Right. You know what I didn't try? The rice with the gravy. Oh, yeah. Actually, can you pour a little gravy on my rice? Just dump a little bit on there. You want to just, I don't know, I think that's, that's good. Yeah. Just some, uh, I got the Somebody. white rice with a little gravy layered on. A little bit of gravy in my... I don't even remember ordering this rice. Just like I think it came as a side with your, one of your meals. Got some gravy in there. This is a gassy meal. What was that noise? Look at this pie. Someone, like if they wanted to, could take a clip of you eating yours and me eating mine and link them up in some Put them fashion. side by side. Somebody might do that. Steven I thought this right here was going to be bigger than it is. The McDonald's ones are like this big, right? Been a long time since I've had a McDonald's pie. We should get one after this. Okay. <clears throat> Off camera. Twisty treat. I'll buy you one. I'll buy you a pie. Okay. Only one flavor, by the way. Only peach. 
can't Peach get mango. A, you can't get an apple pie. You can't get a blueberry pie. Well, this is a different kind of crust. It's like a fried. This is a fried pie. It reminds me of an egg roll crust. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or like a lumpia. They said that they were gonna have lumpias. What's a lumpia? It's like a pineapple one of these. All right. That's stupendous. That's really good. Tastes like a breakfast pastry. Sweet. It's good. It's fresh, like the, the, the mango and the peach. Peach heavy. I gotta be honest, I don't like peach stuff, but this is good. I don't like peach tea. I don't yeah. like peach layered stuff. Peach so, layered stuff? Yeah, like stuff that has peach flavoring added into it. I'm not oh, a fan. Yeah. But this is good. Did you like just like regular peaches? Mm hmm. Like eating the peach or nectarine? Mm hmm. This is very good. It's almost like they just, that's like a real peach in there, not like some processed thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's very crunchy. And it almost tastes like, it tastes like a bear claw. You know how bear claws are like, almost like a, uh, like a phyllo dough or like a, like a croissant dough. It's very so, flaky. So better than McDonald's? Yeah. So if you were, oh, I can't see us. Now we're really silhouette. There we are. So if there was a McDonald's pie and a Jollibee pie side by side, which would you go with? Jollibee. Okay. Sorry, Ronald. You know that Ronald is no longer in any McDonald's commercials. You will never see a new McDonald's commercial with Ronald in it. Why not? He hasn't been in the commercials for like eight years. Hmm. Weird, right? Do you know who owns the license to Bozo the Clown now? The guy who played Ronald McDonald? David Arquette. No. Yes. Right? That's the wrestler? The guy from, from Scream, the wrestler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. David Arquette owns Bozo. That's awesome. Owns Bozo the He's trying to bring him back. WGN, Chicago. What if David Arquette dressed up as Bozo, Bozo in the ring? You never know. He could now. He has the rights. He has the right. He fought for that right. Party, propose our. Okay, I'm gonna rank it right now. Pie was the best. Fried chicken, second. Salisbury steak, the burger burger steaks. Yes. Third. The fourth thing, fried chicken. Fried chicken was second. Third was burger steaks. Fourth was the the sandwich, the chicken sandwich. Okay. Well, bottom of the barrel. Fifth. What was my fifth thing? Oh no, I'm the gonna put the spaghetti. spaghetti. I'm gonna put the spaghetti above the, At the top? chicken sandwich. Okay. Number three? Number three. Then chicken sandwich. <clears throat> I'm putting adobo rice kinda low. Mm. Honestly. Just because the other stuff was interesting and good. The chicken was my number one. Fries are in the deep, deep bottom for me. Fries were alright. I like the you chicken. Think you like the chicken better than the I pie? could get I could get no the pie was great. I was fantastic. But that's a dessert item. Is that categorized? I counted it. I counted it as my number one. The peach was probably... Okay, the pie was number one. I would make a trip to Jollibee to get the pie. If you could buy 10 one. of them. You can't yeah. buy 11. Maybe it's that's just... why the limit's there, because of me. I was going to stack them up. Put them in the freezer. Good. Stock them up. Stacking and stocking. I can't stop eating this rice. Okay. Yeah, that was delicious. Thank you for inviting me. I like the chick. I didn't like the Salisbury steak. That was the you bottom of the list. You didn't like it? No, bottom of the list. I, I feel like you could go to any hot. grocery store and get a, just like a TV dinner. Yeah. Say, throw some mushrooms on it. Done. Same That's deal. true. That's true. I do like a Salisbury steak, though. You think they're going to wonder when they watch your video who's talking off camera? No. You were introduced in the beginning of the video. You're not going to edit that out? Why would I edit you out? <laughs> For, for a good no, I think it's fascinating. Could you put like a little bubble up here, like a cloud, like I'm speaking from, from up in the air? Somewhere beyond? Yeah. I yeah. could be a force ghost. Let me take a picture of you. You're going to superimpose it in? And Jen will put just your face. <laughs> Not during the whole video, just right now. 
Not when you're talking or anything, just right now. Of you yelling. All right, I'm gonna watch the video to see. But every time you talk, you're not on the screen. I love this gravy. I know, you're putting it, you're just squirting it all over your hands and everything. All over the it. table, too. Using it as moisturizer. I, did, I figured you'd use this table as a plate. You might as well. We'll put some gravy on it. Just lick it. All right, I stand corrected. This is my number one, the drink. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna say the drink is the number one. The pie is the number two. That's the number one and two things that I would get every time I go to Jollibee. The drink and the pie are always go-tos. Drink and the pie. The drink and the pie. And the chicken. Drink and the pie. I could get a bucket of that chicken and take it home. You know, you could get a bucket of that chicken. I'm not going to, I'm full. But I could. I mean. The rice, the fries, the Salisbury steak, all pretty average to me. Okay, so the drink. The drink. And the fried chicken. The fried chicken. Make it worth the drive. Drink a fried chicken and a pie, and I'm good. Oh, well, that's my favorite song. It's like a, yeah. like a bluegrass song. Drink fried chicken and a pie. Yeah. You know what's funny? I'm wearing a bluegrass shirt. Look at this. Oh. From Gatlinburg. You didn't even see that and know that. You just said bluegrass. You going, did you go to the so, bluegrass festival or something? No, it was, up, it was up on the top of the mountain at Ober Gatlinburg. These guys perform up there. Mountain grass? Mountain grass, that's their name. Hmm. Next time I go there, I should, maybe I should take them Jollibee. I don't think they have a Jollibee there. But they are. You think it'll travel well? Probably not. Okay, that's going to do it for today. From a park about a mile or so from Jollibee, Jollibee. Jollibee or Jollibee? Jollibee. Sounds better. Yeah. Have a jolly day. Have a holly jolly day. Right? So we know it's Jollibee. Yeah. Confirmed. Well, we did it. Your first <laughs> time, my third time. <laughs> we did it. We ate and filmed ourselves eating. That was great. Yeah. It was very delicious. It and was we, a fun adventure. We had some trouble with the lighting under that canopy. We get up, we walk away, and then you realize, hey, there's a table that's kind of in the shade, but it's more in the sun. We should it's have done it over there. there. It would have been perfect. It's right over there. Next time. So we're going to go do it again right now. If we went back, they'd be like, those guys are back for more pies. Right. As long as you don't get more than 10. We get 10 and then walk out the door, stand in line again, and get 10 more. You should do that. Right? That's the hack. Is there a resale market for Jollibee pies? No, I'm just gonna freeze them, eat them one a day. Yeah. I'm gonna go in 30 times and do one a day for a full, close to a year. Okay. Right? That sounds good. I'll well, be 36 away. times. One a day for a year? One a day for a year, 360 days. Yeah. Five, five days we're taking off. I'm not good with that. Well, I mean, I don't think I am either. Was that right? Yes. You sure? I'll see you in the next video. Oh. What do the outro? Vlog, the vlog is over. Is that right? Yeah, you nailed it. Vlog is over.